Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to install APK files on a Windows 10 PC. First of all, to add support to run Android apps, we'll install Windows Subsystem for Android or WSA on Windows 10. Before going ahead, make sure your computer has at least 8 GB of RAM, an SSD drive and a modern processor like Intel Core i3 8th generation, AMD Ryzen 3000 or newer. Also, your computer must have virtualization enabled on the BIOS or the UEFI. To check if virtualization is enabled or not, open Task Manager. Go to the Performance tab. Here, you see virtualization is enabled on my computer. Next, you have to enable the Virtual Machine Platform feature from the Windows Features page. To do so, search for Windows Features. On the Windows Features pop-up window, check the Virtual Machine Platform option. Click OK. After that, you have to restart the computer to make the changes take effect. After completing the steps, the computer is now ready to install WSA on it. To download WSA for Windows 10, open this GitHub page. I'll provide the link in the video description. Now, scroll down and click on the latest table build for Windows 10. Scroll down to the bottom of this page. Here, click on the second link. This WSA build will also add the Google Play Store on your computer. After downloading, extract the zip file using the 7-zip or WinRAR. Now, open the WSA folder and double-click run.pat file to install WSA on your system. Once you complete the steps, the WSA and the Play Store app will install on your computer. If you want to install Android apps from the Play Store, simply sign in with your Google account and install the apps as you would normally do on an Android device. But in this video, we are interested in side-loading APK files on Windows 10. So please follow the next steps. Open Windows Subsystem for Android. Go to Advanced Settings and enable the Developer Mode. Then click on Manage Developer Settings. Look for USB Debugging and toggle it on. Next, download the WSA Pac-Man tool from the GitHub page. Then install it on your computer. After installation, launch it. If everything is okay, you should see this connected notification here. Now all you need is an APK file to install. Just double click on your APK file and install it like any other exe file on Windows. Once installed, you have the option to create a desktop shortcut for the Android app. The app functions just like any other software on your computer.